lying. Bring Wait a minute, so is the Bible a lie? Use the word Bring it out. Hold on, is the Bible a lie? I ain't gotta spell it. I'm reading what the Bible says. Yes, you said you believe in. Bring it out. I believe in the Bible, but I don't believe in every word. That so you don't believe in the right. Bible. Right. President so Obama, go to President Obama signed that. So now, hold on a second. Hold on a second. We we got to go to who? I didn't say go to him. Okay, what is, I'm, I'm trying. I was listening, but okay. So all of the nations that operate in the Jason. world have agreed that, hey, come on up, brother Jason. that the Moors, all of what nations? Okay. All of the nations of the world. Okay, all of the nations of the world. Go ahead. This way, all of the ones that would control. It's like 193 of them. That's members. Of, of the UN. UN, I heard you say that. Right. Okay, they agree now. They, what did they agree to? To turning back over our inheritance to us, so that we can give me Psalms eighty three. We can run the world again. So that we can run the world again. So hold on, hold on, hold on. let me listen to you because I, I, I want to make sure I understand what you're saying. Ruling powers of the earth are in agreement to hand over their power to the people on the bottom. That's Bring what you're telling me. Well, what, what are we at right now? Where are we at right now? In society, when you look at all the nations that you name in society, are we on top of them or are we beneath them right now in power? Power comes from the law. I, God, okay? I, it's a very simple question. Are we making laws? Are we locking people up? Are we able to determine our destiny in this nation? Where and, and wherever we're scattered, are we able to do that right now? Bring it out. Right now, today? No. We're so, so that we're in agreement with that. That means no. So, my question again, I'm asking, I'm going to say it again. My question to you is the ruling nations that have power right now are going to hand over that power to the people on the bottom that don't have that power, which me and you agree is us. Bring it out. They're going to do that. They have to. They have to. I got to read something to you. Because I've never heard that. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. You don't know what I've read. Don't make a statement like that. You don't know what I've read. You don't know what I've read. So listen, listen. Listen, calm down. But no, he good, he good, he good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Brother, brother, I'm going to read this to you. I'm going to read this to you. And I'm going to... You don't know what I've read, but now I'm a, no, no, no. Now you ask me. Now you ask me, but I'm gonna read something to you first. Read. Hey, good, he good, he good. Read. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse one. Because what I'm about to read is a prophecy that comes out of the Bible that is going to destroy what you just said, and I need some proof for you to show that this prophecy is not true. Bring it out. Verse one. Keep not thou silent, O God. Hold not thy peace, uh -huh. and be not still, O God. Uh -huh. For lo, thine enemies, so God has enemies, God of the Israelites, who have been called Moors when we were in Spain, just like the officer was saying, read, make a tumult, uh -huh. and they that hate thee, and those same enemies that hate God, have lifted up the head. Go ahead. They have taken captive counsel against thy people. So now you were talking about the UN Charter, listen. Right. And consulted against thy hidden ones. Uh -huh. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That's why when the first thing when you said Moors, we understand what you mean, right? We understand what you mean by Moors. But that's not what God called us. That's right. Read. And that the name of Israel. The name of the Moors. The name of Israel. The name of conscious Moors. The name of Israel uh -huh. may be no more in remembrance. Nobody out. knows the people that have gone through these atrocities. Right. right. Yeah, pick that up. Nobody knows the people that have gone through these atrocities as being the Israelites. Right. right. They said we're going to cut off that name. And not only did they cut off that name, in 1948, they established the people in our land right. and called them by our name. Right. Now you're saying that a people that for hundreds of years conspired to do this to gain power are going to give the power back to us. Right. Is that what you're saying? Right, yeah. right. Okay, how are they going to do that? And why? Why would they do that? Okay. So, 
tradition of the universe is killing it. So God himself, as well as I say the universe, which is God, has actually attacked and sought somewhere in the past book of the Old Testament. Wait, but are you quoting the Bible now? I, I don't, I don't so, so wait a minute, so wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, no, no. Okay, all right, but hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. If you're going to make quotes out of the Bible, uh -huh. then the other stuff that you got is, that you're saying needs to also agree with the Bible. Right. Have I disagreed with the Bible? Yes. Bring it out. I just showed you. Read it again. Bring it out. Read verse 5. I'm going to read it again. Hold on. You missed it. You missed it. Start at verse 3. Verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Against I us. Go ahead. I agree with that. That's not the part. Hold on. And, ha and consulted against thy hidden ones. Uh -huh. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation uh -huh. that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So if we're not in remembrance, then us being in power is not in remembrance to who? Bring it out. To Israel. That's what to I'm who? Saying. To Israel. Who's Israel? We are the, we are the. Wait a minute, we are who? We are the Israelites. That's okay, right. so why right. you come right. up that's under right. Moors? Right. Because that's my, okay. Brother, brother. My, 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 um, nationality, my blood, right. um, consequently, says that as the Moabites, the Moabites, the Moabites, yeah, all those people right, came over to this do you know who the Moabites are? Yeah, I know exactly. Who are the Moabites? Bring it out. They are the forebearers of Jesus Christ. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. Okay. Who? Give me a scripture. Hey, brother. Who was a Moabite? Yes. Yes, she was. Okay. Yes, she was. And she was a... Well, hold on, hold on. Since you went there, let's, let's, let's clear it up. Go to the book of Ruth, chapter 1. That's let's right. clear it up. So, bring it out. You're right. Ruth was a Moabite. Right. You're right. So you didn't let's clear it up. You didn't hear the complete statement. It wasn't just a Moabite. You, I, I, hear, I heard you say it. That's part of your lineage. You talk about nationality. Bring it and out. then you went to Ruth yeah. as a Moabite. Yeah. That's not who we are, bro. That's, right. That's not who we are. Yeah, Ruth Jesus. chapter 1, Jesus. verse. This lineage back to like verse 3. Yeah, no, no, no. Hold on. Uh, Start at 1. Read down. It's the, book, it's the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 1. Now we're talking about Ruth the Moabite, right? Just want to make sure we're together, right? Ruth the Moabite? Okay. Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to sojourn in the country of Moab. So now, do you know who Judah is? Bring it up. Yeah. You know who Judah is? Who's Judah? He's one of the tribes. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you know who came out of Judah? Like one of the most important people that ever walked the earth that came out of Judah. Okay. So part of Okay. Yeah. Who, who else was in Jesus' line? Okay. Okay. His lineage. Bring it out. All of the prophets. How about King David? That's right. Bring it out. Okay. So, so King David came prior to Christ, right? Matter of fact, give me that. You got St. Matthew? One and one. Read that. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. the son of David, uh -huh. the son of Abraham. Now, let's jump down to... No, 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 come on, follow me, follow me. I, I want uh, Jesse, go ahead. Verse 6, and Jesse begot David the king, uh -huh. and David the king begot Solomon. Wait a minute, read above that, Salmon of Boaz, that's what I want. Verse 5. And Salmon begot Bo Boaz uh -huh. of Rechab. Uh -huh. And Boaz begot Obed of Ruth. Of who? Of Ruth. Uh -huh. And Obed begot Jesse. Bring it out. And Jesse begot David the king. Now, Christ came out of the line of King David, right? That's right. Get out. Right? Let's go back. Wait a minute. Read verse 1 again, and then we're going back. Verse 1. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ. Now, generation means genealogy or lineage. Right. We agree? Okay, go ahead. The son of David. The son of who? The son of David. Uh -huh. The son of Abraham. Now, let's go back to Ruth. Now, we read, I just wanted to go down to Obed of Jesse. Okay? Because we're going to read where that line was right here in the book of Ruth, all right? 
because go back, go, go back to where I got you going. Come on, stay with me. The book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out. Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to sojourn in the country of Moab. He and his wife and his two sons. And the name of the man was Elimech. Uh, and the names of the of his wife, Naomi. So now listen to the names of his wife, go ahead. The name of his wife was Naomi. Uh -huh. And the name of his two sons, Makal uh -huh. and um, Chilion, uh -huh. Ephraimites uh -huh. of Bethlehem, Judah. Uh -huh. And they came into the country of Moab. And they came where? Into the country of Moab. And they came into the country of Moab. That's crazy. So when you read about Ruth, the Moabitess, because she was from the country of what? Moab. Right. That's right. Now, That's right. was Moab our people? Pick it up. He just said, he just said in that first chapter where David was of the land of Ruth. It said that. It he just, read it again. You, you got to get it. We're going to read it again. Not, not in the lineage of Ruth, but when you went over and read in that first chapter, you talked about the lineage of David and Solomon. It's we didn't read Solomon. He said, We're going to read it again. He said, Boaz. We're going to read it again. We're going to read it again. We're going to read it again. Follow with us. We're going to read it again. What's going on, my brother? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 5. And Simon be begot Boaz of Rechab. And Boaz Boaz begot Obed of Ruth. And Obed begot Jesse. Okay. So now it's going through the line of Christ, right? Right. Who do you come from? The man or the woman? Bring it out. The woman, of course. Okay. So now that's why I asked you if you if you believe in the Bible. Hold on, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you the floor. I'm gonna give you the floor, but I but I gotta establish truth. Right. I'm gonna give you back the floor, but I gotta establish truth. Read. It's the book of Numbers, chapter one, verse eighteen. Bring it out. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families. What does that mean, pedigree? Bring it out. That's another word for what? Lineage. lineage or generation. So saying the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it says they declare their pedigrees. Go Bring ahead. It out. After their families, uh -huh. by the house of their fathers. No, by the house of their mothers. By the by the house of their fathers. Right That's now, the right. Bible says that we are what our fathers are. That's right. Uh, that wait, 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 wait. I, I need you to say this on the mic. That is not how you actually define. Whoa. So the Bible's lying. Bring Wait a minute. So is the Bible a lie? Use the word inherit. Bring it out. Hold on. Is the Bible a lie? I ain't got to spell it. I'm reading what the Bible says. Which you said you believed in. Bring it out. I believe in the Bible, but I don't believe in every word. So you don't believe in the Bible. Give me double minded. Give me double minded. James 1. Okay. So you don't believe. So thank you, brother. Now at least. You created Hold on. something that I didn't no. say. You, do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe it? You I, are double-minded. Bring it double out. You did, did, didn't you say you believe in the Bible? Did you say you believe in the Bible? Which Bible? Now I asked you, which Bible? Oh, so now you adding something else. You like triple-minded. So look, brother, brother, let's, let's stay focused. Let's stay focused. Let's stay, that's fine. Hold on, hold on. Which Bible? How Hold many on. Bibles are there? Hold on. We're gonna deal with that next. We we'll deal with that. I just wanna I just wanna clear up your statement. I don't want nobody to misunderstood. Maybe I misunderstood. All the Bible? Let me let me say I will answer that question next. I will answer your question next. I just want to clear up your original statement. Right, get out. Do you believe in the Bible or not? I believe in the Bible. Okay. Now, wait a minute. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Brother, brother, just slow down. Slow down, brother. Slow down. You just said you do believe in the Bible. Absolutely. Okay. Now, did you not say I don't believe in everything written in the Bible? Right. Bring it out. Bring it out. So then you don't believe in the Bible. That's right. Let me ask you this. You got children? Bring it out. You got children? When was your wife half pregnant? Bring it out. 
analogy. It's a faulty analogy? Yeah. Did you believe she was pregnant when she told you or not? That's a faulty analogy, brother. Did you believe she was pregnant when she told you or not? Or did you believe it when the belly started growing? Because I will show you what's written in the Bible, and maybe that will help you understand it. Okay, so now we read out of the King James Version Bible. Now, you want to go to some false statement, which I'm going to give you the four. You don't believe in the Bible. The, yes, absolutely I believe in the Bible. That's, That's right. why I'm going to it to destroy what you're saying. Right, bring it out. I said we read out of the King James 1611 King James Bible. No, I don't believe in all Bibles. You know why? You know why? Oh, I didn't I didn't listen. Listen, I'm gonna give you the understanding. Hell no! Now I'm gonna teach you with no understanding of wisdom as an old man. Bro. Give me Deuteronomy 4 and 2. Bring it Jesus out. says, why don't we believe in our Bible? Right. Because the white man hey, so has I, changed so I have to believe in all some of the wording. And we're going to show it. I did allow you. I did allow you. Stop talking to him. Deal with me. Don't be afraid to deal with me. I'm dealing with you, buddy. All right. So listen. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 2. You shall not add unto the word which I command you. What did God say? You shall not add unto the word which I command you. God said don't add to the word. Read. Neither shall you diminish up from it. It says, neither shall you diminish out from it. I now I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to give you an example. I believe that. In some of these other Bibles that you're naming, we can read Job 30 and 30. I'm going to show you, they've been changed. So, Bring it out. so that's why we don't so, believe. So I, I'm not double-minded then if I don't believe in those Bibles like you. Or, or am you, I that's not what you said. Too? So now if you want to rephrase your hey, statement, hey, that's hey, fine. Hey. I, I don't believe in all those Bibles like you. We weren't talking about all the Bibles. You introduced that, bro. Right? That's right. I'm a very good listener. Wait, wait, wait. I said, I the book of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. Bring it up. My skin is... Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Everything is written in the... Listen to what I'm telling you. Listen to what I'm telling you. Bring it out. You just asked me a question. My statement. No, listen to what I'm I'm telling you. You ask me a question. Do, do I believe everything written in the Bible? Is that not what you just asked? And you are not a prophet. So you, so you don't need to be leading our people astray. That's right. Telling our people that some nation that fought to get power and control is just going to give it back, hand it back over to us. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Your Obama deal what? My next question. But Obama, Obama signed what no other president would sign. Which was what? Rights of indigenous people. Look at what rights do we have? Bring it out. Bring it out. What rights do we have? As indigenous people? to reclaim our inheritance. So, we have the right to a reclaim our inheritance. Give it to us, give it to us, but you went to a man for that. You just claimed Obama. Right. I said he signed that. Okay, so then what did that do for us? What did that do for us? No, you tell me, just like what you said, tell me. It returned you to your station if you exercise that. Where is my station? Do you mean my homeland when you say that? When you go with me. I'm not in my homeland. Bring it out. I'm not in my homeland. Bring it out. Are you in your homeland? Yes, I am. Okay, so again, you don't believe the Bible. Give me Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. And then give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. Bring it out. So wait a minute. You, you, now I got to clear up these false statements, brother, and then I'll give you the floor back. You notice every time, I, I'm going to be fair with you. Go ahead. I'm giving you the fair. opportunity to speak. But there. when you say something faulty after you said you okay. believe in the Bible, now, I got to clear it up with the Bible. That's, that's, right. Right. that's fair. Read. It's it the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. See, now you see, he don't believe in the Bible. Now he wants to ask who wrote it. Right. God wrote it, and I'll prove that's that right. to you. Right. But right. Jerusalem, which is above, is free. So you notice that when older men 
that have philosophies come up because they've never been taught right. They've been part of the problem of our community. Right. And then when they come to the prophets, and the prophets show them in error, now they start asking, who wrote the Bible that they claim to believe in? Bring it we, out. Which is the mother. I didn't call you no prophet. We the prophets, read. That's but Jerusalem, right. which is out. above, is free. Which is the mother of us all. What's our motherland? Read it from the top. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Which is the mother of us all. Give us Deuteronomy 28 and 64. Bring it out. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. Bring it out. This is why we are not in our homeland today. Right. We're going to show it to you all. So you because some of our people Israel. think this is our homeland. That's why we're catching hell. Read. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. Yeah. And the Lord shall scatter thee. The Lord shall what? Shall scatter thee. Give me one and one so the brother understands who we talking about. Because he acknowledged that we Israel. Right. Or did you or did you not? Have you changed your mind on that too? Okay, so you acknowledge we Israelites. Right. Okay, read. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? All Israel. Read, go back, go back. 64. 28 verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. So now we read that Jerusalem is our homeland. Right. We ain't no one near Jerusalem right now. Right. Read. I know where there and there we shall serve other gods which thou nor thy fathers have known. Even wood and stone. Even what? Even wood and stone. Now jump up to verse 15 so we can see why we're in this condition. And I'm giving you the floor back. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe. What's his question? To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So you notice that we in a in, in one of the worst parts of Florida, and all these older men got such great damn understanding, right. but you can't clean up the community. Right. And you ain't even angry about it. Right. This is foolishness. Right. This is foolishness that the aged man has failed us. Right. That's right. But everybody got wisdom. Go ahead. Oh, okay, so the first thing about so you understand that we scatter, we not in our homeland? According up. to the Bible, it's maybe you don't believe that, but according to what we read, we right? Scattered. That's yep. what it said. Yes. It didn't, yes. It didn't say that. Where where did we read our homeland is? Where did no. it say it was the motherland? Do we got to read it again, or did no, you remember? He said, he said Jerusalem. No, no, no. The Bible said he's just reading right. it. Right. Right. The Bible said. Right. Because you ask who wrote the Bible. I have to classify it that way to you so that you know God gave us those words. That's right. Yes, I do, sir. So now, no, I'm not playing semantics. You are. I'm going straight word for word what the Bible says. You're going tit for tat. I'm not going tit for tat, sir. Where's the homeland according to what we read? It said Jerusalem. Where's Jerusalem? South Georgia. South Georgia. You're an idiot. Now I'm, gonna, now I'm gonna say it. You're an idiot. You're an idiot, bro. Brother. 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 You talk about semantics? Yeah. This guy, hey, you know what? Sister, you got a question? You got a question? Give me Titus 3 and 10. Give me Titus 3 and 10, bro. Give me Titus 3 and 10. You, you ain't even serious. You're not even serious about the condition of our people. Yes, you're done. Yes, you're done. Read. And I'm going to go back to God's word. I'm going to go back to God's word. This is the book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 10. A man that is inherited. A man that is what? That is inherited. Read. After the first and second admonition. Reject. So now, first, I asked him, you can step back. First, I asked him about the Moors. And we went into a little bit, just right. briefly, the history of the Moors. He right. said he agreed. I asked him if we the Israelites. He said he agreed. Right. Right? So now, we're going into uh, how the other nations are going to give us power back and restore us back to our people. Right. Which we're going to go on and continue to teach on that. That's not what's going to happen. Right. The saints are going to take the kingdom. That's we're right. going to get the kingdom when Christ returns. That's right. right. Now, he said that those nations that rule over us are going to just hand over the power. Bring it up. That's false. Right. We went to the scriptures to prove that's not true. Right. We went to 
Daniel chapter 7, verse 27. The saints, or 18, the saints will take the kingdom. That's right. Give me Jeremiah. Give me that, uh, uh, the battle axe. 50, what's that, Jeremiah 51, 20? Give me that in Jeremiah. Yeah. Now I'm going to go through some scriptures showing you that, so, so not, that you we're done? taking it. Read. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 20. Yes, thou it. art my battle axe. Yes. And who is? Thou art my battle axe. Oh. We are God's battle axe right. in weapons of war. Uh -huh. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. With, oh, wait a minute. You got to read that again for him, brother. Read it out. For thou art my battle axe uh -huh. in weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Now, let's go to Amos chapter 9, verse 9. We're going we to slowly go and show that ain't no nation prophesied to give us a damn thing. The saint will take the kingdom. Read the book of Amos chapter 9, verse 9. For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel. Hey, send him back this way. Don't even deal with him. Because the brother, when I was giving him the floor, now he wants to get simple. Right. Jerusalem is in South Georgia. Bring it out. Jerusalem is in South Georgia. Matter of fact, give me that in, uh, we coming right back. Give me that in uh, Psalms 49 and 11. He know good and damn well that even if there is a city called Jerusalem in South Georgia, that's not what we talking about. All right. All right. It's the book of Psalms. And this is the problem. The black man, the elder black man, wants to be right so bad to hell with the condition of his people right. Right. just so he can win an argument. argument. Right. Bring, it out. Right. Bring it out. This is madness. This is why our communities look like they are. Look at all our age men over there slapping bones and playing cards because they have failed us. Right. It's high time you wake up, brothers. Right. You older men that have failed us, right. it's high time you wake up. Right. You oh. have no solutions. Right. Nation is men leading by example. Where you are. 